Okay, today we're gonna do. <laughs> oh goodness, this is my life. This is my life. Get it together, girl. Get it. Hello, hello. You're back. So join her here. Listen, if you have not already liked, subscribed, commented, don't forget to do it. You know I love my comments, okay? And if you don't, how else is all this goodness going to be spread across the YouTube verse and the interweb? This is a space and a place where luxury meets authenticity. All right. <laughs> Today we're going to do some unboxings. Yes. Here is the first item. And don't worry. We have already looked at all of these items and he's given permission for us to open these items because he wants to begin using them as soon as possible. <gasps> yes. So this is a, a muffler or a scarf, a men's scarf. It is actually called Recto Verso. I will put the information below so that you can look it up if you want to. And the color is actually, it's a navy and a black. So let me see if I can share that with you. Can you I hope you can see that, that navy tone. And on the other side is this black tone. So let me try to show you together so you can get a good feel of what that looks like. There we go. The navy and the black. So this was the first thing I wanted to get him. Now I picked this up because he, he when we were in Hermes the last time, he mentioned how much he wanted to get a scarf. Now when we were in Paris, he got one of the um, bigger scarves that's more, more transitional piece, which you can wear in the winter, but it's of a lighter material. And this is perfect for the winter. So it made sense. And Hubs loves navy, okay? I love black. Maybe it's a European versus American thing, but I love the color black. He loves the color navy and he wears the color navy as though it were black. So, you know, it's a good piece for him. Let's move on to the next item. Let's see, which one do we want to do? Let's do this one. To be honest with you, I don't even, based on the size of the box, I don't even know. I, I just don't know what these are. Oh, yes. Okay, let me take this out the box because you're going to want to see this. This piece I picked up for Hubs because I had gotten him another Hermes uh, bracelet and he loved it so much that he wore it out. Like he wore it all the time. So he eventually ended up losing it. The first time he lost it, Red, when he was still alive and with us, found it for him in the yard, which was amazing. The second time, unfortunately, we weren't able to find it. So this was to replace that bracelet. He loved it so much. He had to have another one. And this is the bracelet. Let me show you how to open that. You squeeze, okay, you squeeze it and you just turn and ah, it opens. Now, I saw this color and I had to get it for him. I know the width will complement the um, Cartier Love Cuff that I had got him. So yes, it is the perfect combination and it's something he can wear and not be afraid of damaging it. And if he does, de la vie, we'll just pick up something else. Um, but I'm just happy that I was able to get him something to replace that piece. I mean, he loved it so much. I swear to you, I got that love cup thinking that it, once I got it for him, he would just stop wearing <laughs> the other one. He did not. He's just not that person. He's very sentimental in that way. So he continued to wear it. And yeah, so now I've gotten this one. I'll show you one more time, but I really want to 
I want to move, remove this tape, but it is just very difficult to get off. This bracelet is actually called the Click HH So Black. Very lovely piece. This is actually for me, so we're gonna hold off on that one. And then, of course, because I got my Apple Watch, it was time for Hubs to upgrade as well. Even though, let me say this, his current Apple Watch is a Series 5, so it is very old. This is what, the 9? Am I right? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Listen, and mine's was a four. This is about time we upgrade it. But if you have an Apple Watch or you are interested in it, it lasts a very, very long time. We are proof of that. So let's get this one opened up. He ended up getting, because he wanted it so badly, I thought he would go for it. A leather band but he did not he went for this is the single tour deployment buckle kill him and it has this buckle so I'm gonna go ahead and open this put it together so I can help hubs out with that part and he does not have to worry about it that means he can go ahead and activate it today I do have a feeling that he will be getting a leather band in his future because he loves Hermes leather bands so much. And here is the watch. And it as well is in so black. So his has the black all the way around. Whereas mine's has, let's see, the silver. That comparison of the color. I hope that that shows well for you. Now, let's get this on here and see how this looks. Because let me tell you, when I got my Apple Watch, remember, if you have not seen that video, go check it out. I made a big deal out of making sure that my watch face, um, the, the metal of my watch face matched the band and the um, attachment. Hubs's does not. So let's see if that even is noticeable because I am very particular when it comes to those details. I just am. Here we go. Oh, there it goes, it snapped in. And so, you can't really tell unless you're looking from the side. If you're looking from the front, it is not really noticeable. And let's set up this deployment buckle. Oh yes, this is a lovely piece for sure. I'm over here trying to listen. I'm trying to steal my husband's watch. Why not? I'm gonna put this on my wrist. He loves me. He won't mind. It is really. I think it is going to work very well for him for everyday use, especially when he's doing home improvement and things like that. If he forgets to put the orange one on instead of um, switching it out, which can happen sometimes, right? Yeah, I really like the idea of this. So you don't have to continuously adjust it. You just adjust it once and then that happens. You pop it open and boom, and then put it back on. So I might end up getting one of these bands as well. I don't know what I would use it for, but I might. Now I'm tempted. <laughs> okay, so, oh, this is nice, isn't it? Come on, Hubs. Yes, fabulous pieces. Now we have all the Hubs goodies out of the way. Let's see if there's anything left 
in the bag. Oh, actually there is. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of other things that I picked up for myself, but then also that my essay um, gifted me because I think it's very cute. So I ended up getting this wallet. And it's so interesting because I did get Hubs one of these years ago and he uses it almost every day. So I'm happy to have one and I am also happy it matches my Evelyn bag, which is an Eto. So this is a perfect combination and I was looking for something smaller to go into my Evelyn since it's the Evelyn 16. I didn't want something that would take up a ton of space because currently I've been carrying this Baron in all black and I'm going to say it takes up so much space. So just look at the size and in my Evelyn um, 16, that makes a humongous difference. So I'm happy I have this. I've been hoping to find something that I could use. So I'm so happy that she was able to offer this to me. She actually offered it, the Baron's Me as well in Etope and it was the bigger size. I think it had to be like a men's wallet and it was bigger than this one. And I just had to turn it down because I was like, I'm not wanting that. I don't have anything that that would fit into perfectly. And this wallet is actually called the Calvi Hermes card holder. And yeah, it just has two slots where you can slide the cards in. This is gonna be perfect for my Evelyn 16. So now we are rounding it out because we have everything. And this is the next thing that my essay gifted me. It was, it's one of these little saddles and it's in black. I have not put it together as yet. As you can see, it's gonna take some, <laughs> some crafting here. So I am excited to put this together. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I know people are probably hanging them off of their bag. I probably will not do that, but I will at least put it together. And once I do that, I will share it with all of you. And last but not least, my essay, gave me a raincoat for my Birkin 25. So I'm excited because I thought they no longer do that, but she gifted me one. So I'm excited about that. I will be tucking that in the bag. So I always have it at the ready for inclement weather. Thank you for joining me as I celebrate Hubs and his birthday. And thank you Hubs for allowing us to open your gifts. I know you are ready to put on that scarf, that watch and put it all to good use. Happy birthday to you. And thank you again, everyone for joining us. Until next time.